Congressman Andy Biggs suggested that President Biden may be, quote, compromised following the Devon Archer hearing. Roll tape. Do you think the President of the United States is compromised based on Archer's testimony? I think so. I think so. And we'll, con we'll continue to, to do our, our due diligence and our research. Do you think today's testimony made it more likely that the president should be impeached? I think, well, I think we should do an impeachment inquiry, which is a different animal, but we need to do an inquiry. Uh, Congressman Scott Perry is a Republican from Pennsylvania and joins me now. Congressman, do you see this? Do you see impeachment as, as a tool? Uh, uh, the inquiry is just a tool to find out the truth and find out more about this situation. Yes, the inquiry would be a tool to find out all the information, understand that it's not just Devin Archer's attorneys and Devin Archer that are not being completely forthcoming. It's the agencies, it's the IRS, it's the Department of Justice, it's the FBI that aren't being completely forthcoming. Coming. We happen actually to know that Devin Archer was going to say much more, but the DOJ sent a letter on Saturday and then sent a lo another letter, letter on Sunday, which chilled the conversation, which is what it's meant to do. It's meant to intimidate witnesses. So it's not just about, at this point, an inquiry into Joe Biden that we need to find all the information out about. Quite honestly, it's also about the agencies and, and the obstruction of justice that we are witnessing in real time. We've got a lot of work to do here, and the imp impeachment inquiry opens up different avenues to, to determine mm. what is evidence and where there is evidence of crimes. In your opinion, sir, did Biden lie about doing business? Well, of course he lied. Uh, look, he's, he's calling in. Just remember this, Stuart. We're talking about 20 times at least, according to Devin Archer, who was a, a partner of Hunter Biden, where he called in on a speakerphone. You have no idea who's on the other end of the speakerphone. And we're talking about people peddling foreign influence. Uh, these are foreign nationals that w seek to change um, United States policy. The vice president of the United States, in many occasions, whether it was China or Ukraine, was put in charge of the foreign policy by the president of the United States. That is selling influence. That is selling access. That is trying to change foreign policy for the benefit of some individuals not the United States. That is influence peddling, and that's illegal. Ron DeSantis has laid out his new economic policy, and it includes what he calls decoupling from China. Watch this, please. Roll it. So here's what we have to do to get this right. First, we have to restore the economic sovereignty of this country and take back control of our economy from China. The abusive relationship, the asymmetric relationship between our two countries must come to an end. Do we want, really want to do this? I'm talking about total decoupling from China. The repercussions in terms of trade, prosperity, standard of living would be profound. You really want to do it? The repercussions of continuing to deal with the Communist Party of China are going to be profound. We have to start getting on the road somewhere of making things right and leveling the playing field, allowing Chinese investors to uh, participate in our stock market without the same requirements that U.S. countries, uh, companies have is a detriment to our nation. We have to be for America first. And, uh, and look, if we can trade uh, with China, with the Communist Party of China, that to, uh, when it's to the benefit of America, that's awesome. But we cannot do it when it's only to the benefit of the Chinese Communist Party, and that's where things currently stand. We're going to have to make a change, and the change is going to be at, at uh, whether it's, it's going to come whether we want to or whether we have to. But the change has to come. Congressman Scott Perry, Republican, Pennsylvania. Congressman, thanks for being with us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank now, you, this. sir. Thank you.